golf fanatics billy ho sports here once again with a pga course preview uh picks player pool kind of thing for DraftKings. we're gonna say farewell to the florida swing and good riddance as far as i'm concerned because i did not have a good florida swing let's hope we change our luck by moving out west going to houston we're gonna start the texas swing with the houston open memorial park uh, another best of the rest type event, $1.6 million to the winner. The field is not too strong and probably because everybody knows Scotty Scheffler's in it, so they don't have a chance to win anyway. The way he's been rolling the rock and rocking the rock and everything else, they figured they got no shot. But anyway, we do have a few players to talk about, and there's a full field, so we always, uh, these are the kind of fun ones as far as us DFS tryhards are concerned, to try to get in there and find those uh, diamonds in the rough and whatnot. Uh, Scotty Scheffler, I'll just say right now, DraftKings ought to put him 14K because they're going to run the 5K range at the bottom to offset it. Dude needs to be 14K. If he's not at least 13, 2, I, I'm just, I, I'm, you might as well not, if he's a, that affordable, it's 5 versus 5 this week. And just lock Scotty Scheffler in and just try to beat him with the other five guys. Quick announcements. First, make sure you support my channel by joining the DraftKings contest. If you play on DraftKings, we got ahead a good turnout for Valspar last week, but I've enhanced the payout structure. We pay five across the board. So it's a lot better. Three dollar entry, uh, just a single entry. But up to 75 entries can get in it. Let's get it up there because it would be a really nice payout for just a listener league fun contest, bragging rights kind of thing to go five across the board. So, also, if you are a fan of horse racing, or maybe you just get into the Kentucky Derby and the Triple Crown, well, the Kentucky Derby is... Just a little over a month away, less than six weeks. We just had a huge weekend of prep races. Uh, if you get into it, just like people do March Madness, filling out brackets, Kentucky Derby parties. I'm local to Louisville. There's tons of Derby parties around. They're almost bigger. The whole festival, Thunder Over Louisville, all that kind of good stuff is coming up. So very exciting time here. Uh, check out my Kentucky Derby Trail playlist. And get yourself familiarized with all the top contenders. It'll take you a short time and you can hit the ground running and you're not just one of those donators when you don't just don't even know you're picking names and you don't know who is the better or you just look at the odds. It'll help you out a ton. It'll help my channel out. Maybe even turn you on to a new sport you weren't really interested in before. Personally, I find it easier to predict these horses nowadays than it is to pre predict these golfers. So anyway, uh, I was dialed in last uh, lately, last Saturday, yesterday's uh, Louisiana Derby. Not only were my selections on the winner, uh, but the trifecta and superfecta as well all, all hit. So enough of that shameless plugging. Let's get into the event. Memorial Park Golf Course is a long and difficult track. Par 70 setup plays at 7,412 yards. Par 70 setup, I said. Fairways are tree-lined, similar to Copperhead. Landing area is much more generous, 30 to 40 yards wide on average on the landing areas. Driving distance is way up. It's close to 290, which is one of the highest of the PGA Tour. Accuracy way down because accuracy almost doesn't matter. You can get in trouble, obviously, with the trees and, and uh, everything, but the rough is not penal. Uh, the course is unique, similar to last week's course, with five par threes, but only three par fives, which hints the par 70 setup. So, looking at the weather, I, I don't really get into it, but I'd like to give you a quick peek. Uh, 
we could see windy conditions, but it does look clear. So now it doesn't look like we're going to get a lot of rain. But uh, monitor the weather, monitor that wind. It looks like it's going to be kicking up a little bit Friday afternoon. So that could be mean uh, potential wave stacking, you know, especially eight, round nine, two ten. showdown. Eight and ten, pretty easy. So I mean, uh, get after that. Overpower, as does as you're watching super the easy. flyover, notice how the par fours are the most difficult. The par three eleventh hole is 237 yards. The bogey rate on that hole is four times what it is of the birdie rate. Uh, also, you should see hole number 13 set up as a drivable par four over the weekend. Uh, so what we're looking at here, driving distance, obviously, long irons again, 150 to 200. But you are going to have more 200 plus approach shots on some of these par fours than you will uh, if you if you haven't noticed all year long. Normally, these 200-plus approach shots are going to be going for the green on those par fives, but not so much this time because they're like 526-yard, 490, especially if you've got the wind uh, in your face on some of these holes. But the good news is the greens are larger, uh, 7,000 square feet on average. Uh, POA overseed. So like I said before about the rough, it is forgiving. The The players can be more aggressive. It's tighter on the fairway of note uh, with the POA ryegrass. Uh, what I read was that the dry, warm, dry, excuse me, warm, dry spring in Houston has really been great for both the ryegrass and the underlying Bermuda that's always been there. So that might, factor in slightly i just you know of note basically i wouldn't go change your whole game plan over that so total driving good drives slash uh strokes gain approach on the whole t to green is a very important stat to me this week uh i'm gonna try to use a bit longer of a sample size push it up to maybe 50 75 uh rounds on that one uh the greens aren't very severe you you will see some stats, and I'll show it to you in a second, on putting, uh, like it's number one across the board, like this is the most important putting event all year. But come on, Tony Finau last year, before that, Jason Kokrak, before that, Carlos Ortiz, guys not known for the putting, if you know what I mean. Uh, so take advantage of the par fives, take advantage of that 13 when the tees are up, and let's take a look at the field. Okay, as I said previously, Scotty Scheffler is the, in the field. I started this off, like I said, tee to green. I put 40 rounds up here. I figured that's about right for now because uh, I, I might change it around I, just to see the changes, 12, 24, just kind of like a rolling thing. But obviously, Scotty Scheffler, the fantasy points gain and the tee to green is double of the next guy down who's Aaron Rye who definitely disappointed me last week. I, I hardly ever play this guy, and he it just he, he's such a good course fit. He's done and blah, blah, blah. And, of course, he shits the bed. But for some reason, he likes this course. Past two years, he's got a 7th and a 19th, so maybe he pissed off enough people where he'll go a little overlooked this week. Super accurate off the tee, but he did. The putting killed him last week. That was basically what it amounted to. Uh, he did have a bad round one with the approach game, but he 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 seemed to have gotten that straightened out. He just lost like almost three strokes putting, so he had no shot to make the cut. Olison keeps showing up here, but that's mostly his Euro stats. He hasn't impressed me at all in any of the contests he's shown up here, so no Thunder Bear for me, most likely. Guys like Campos, but Collie it might be interesting because that dude can flat out grind. And before his accident, you can see go way back. He may not be long off the tee, but he's pretty accurate, and he's been playing pretty well. Um, but ninth and 18th back when he was playing before the injuries uh, derailed his career, obviously Tony Finau could be a monster bounce-back candidate. I don't think he's going to go overlooked. He's probably going to be significantly under price, lower price than Scotty Scheffler. So you're going to get like a probably a $2,000 discount on Tony. You know, so – um, he was really awful. He lost like four strokes, I believe, on approach uh, in the two rounds at uh, Valspar, which is absolutely pitiful for him. I had to go back and look 
Actually, I'll show it to you. I had it pulled up. Uh, it might be kind of hard to see uh, just because of the uh, shadows and whatnot. And I did have it dialed down. Let me dial this up. My apologies. I should have had this ready. Uh, so anyway, let's go to 110. I wanted to show you the approach. This is just going back as far. You can see he's all in the green. Anytime he's in the red, he's just like one or two strokes. I had to go all the way down to Wells Fargo in 2022 where he lost seven uh, on approach. I'm not really sure how he managed that, but uh, he played four rounds. So, you know, that, that can add up to seven. But, I mean, four strokes in two rounds for him is – Man, he must have really, really got wet. But anyway, uh, key stats, like I said, I, I'm not I'm not going to dip into this too much, these rankings being three putt, all these putting stats, because putting is volatile in its own right. But back over to the chite chite. Uh, so more players like that. I'm not sure about Siwoo, uh, his course fit. He didn't make the cut here last year, and he's been playing – some really, really good golf. So he might be an interesting guy to monitor ownership on. Jaeger bombs, I think, might be a really good fit here. Stefan Jaeger is definitely uh, having a pretty good. I mean, I, I, I'll ignore the 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 poor Florida swing. Uh, he just maybe just does, doesn't line up with those types of courses. He likes the courses where you don't have as many water hazards. We'll say that the Gala seems like a really good fit. Johnny Vegas. Would be a good fit here. He really hasn't shown us much since he came back from the shoulder injury. Injury. Uh, he had a 22 at Phoenix, but like guys like Alex, Alex Norin is not a guy I usually get to. Uh, but he has been playing the best golf I've seen him play in a while. He's been very consistent. Fourth place here last year. Keep that in mind. Wyndham Clark is in the field. Wyndham Clark seems like an absolute stellar setup after back to back second place finishes. He took a week off, 16th last year. The way he's been playing, he's going to be very popular. I'm not sure where he'll be priced, but he is definitely a threat to win this golf tournament. Absolutely. Um, going down the line, and I got this sorted by Tita Green. Uh, Willie Z uh, is there as well. He's an interesting candidate. But uh, going down the line, this is a, a distance. So driving distance is at a premium. If you look up here, uh, just real quick, this is last year's. Of course, they didn't play it in the fall. They moved it up to this year in the spring. So you won't. This is Tony Finau's uh, win going back. But you see, Finau, Tyson Alexander can hit it. Ben Taylor's pretty long. Mullinax is long. Smalley pokes it out there. And the, but then you got guys like Hadwin and, and Ryan. So you you can get it done in different ways, but most of these guys up here hammer the ball. Scheffler, Jaeger, Mitchell, Bramlett, Long, Woodlands, Long. So, you know, out of the 15 guys here, 10 or 12 of them are long, you know, and there's three or four that aren't. So keep that in mind. But tons of players to go through here. I'm going to be doing some research. I know you will be too. That's all I have for you today. Uh, appreciate you watching. I appreciate all the support. My boys at the Discord channel, I know I never advertise a Discord because I kind of like it the way it is. It's really intimate. There's about a dozen guys who really get involved in the PGA stuff, but the, I, I let it go. I don't really, I mean, there's uh, MMA gets a lot of play. NBA gets a lot of play. There's a tons of things in there, but if you are interested in joining a free Discord just to bounce some ideas off of some good people, you can hit me up. Just leave a comment, and I'll I'll post a link, and you can join up with us. So, for Billy Ho Sports, I'm Billy Ho. Thanks for watching. Till next time, see you soon.